a very warm welcome to the channel yummy if today is the first time here my name is yummy cash and to my returning subscribers a very big thank you to you in today's video we are going to be cooking stew with no tomatoes basically we are going to be making carrot stew the best one in the market of course <laughs> you are going to love the outcome this is the third time i'm making carrot stew in this house and this particular carrot stew was enjoyed by everybody the first and second ones forget it nobody ate it <laughs> you want to know the reason why nobody ate it well i would definitely tell you <laughs> so i start by cutting the carrots into small pieces i'm not going to be using a lot of carrots in this recipe although i'll be adding in some paprikas and note that i've already washed the paprika and the carrots i take out the seeds and then add the main paprika flesh or the main food to the pan containing the carrots so I'll be making use of two paprikas in this recipe. So the next thing is the onions. I'm taking about two or three onions for this recipe. I remove the skin of it and add it to the pan containing the carrots and the paprikas. Now I'll add a little bit of water to it. I'll add some peppers, cover it and bring it to a boil. The protein I'm using is oxtail meat. You can actually use any meat of your choice. I add enough water to it and at this point I'll be adding my chopped onions. Now I'll add about two or three pieces of anise seeds and then come in with my spice mix. So if you want to know how I made the spice mix, I will be leaving a link down in the description please check it out i add in a little bit of salt and then some garlic powder cover it and bring it to a boil now the next thing is to blend some gingers garlics and i'm going to be adding in rosemary and anise seeds i don't know whether i already mentioned it but i'll add some gingers to it add a little bit of water and then blend it so the meat has been cooking for about 20 minutes now. I will quickly stir it, cover it and allow it to continue cooking. It takes time for oxtail meat to cook properly. So I'm going to leave it on fire for about 50 minutes. Now, this is the vegetables. So it's been 55 minutes of cooking the oxtail meat. It is well cooked and I've separated it. I will strain the liquid to remove the spices and everything and throw it away. In this pan, I'll pour oil in it and this oil I got it from the turkey stew I made the last time. I'm going to fry some onions in it for about 10 minutes or till the onions are well fried. This is to remove any unpleasant scent that is present in the oil. I will take all the fried onions out and add more of the oil. Now I'm going to fry some sliced onions in the oil for about 5 minutes or till the onions are translucent. This should take about 5 to 6 minutes on a medium heat. After the 5 minutes, I'll pour in my blended ginger garlic onions and anise seed and i think some rosemary too yeah now I'll fry this for about 10 minutes okay at this point i'll add in the blended cooked carrots and paprikas now take a look at it is it not looking beautiful mm -hmm. now i'm going to stir this very well so the carrots is well blended with the blended onions then come in with the stock from the oxtail meat at this point the pan is too small for me i am going to transfer it into a bigger pan so our carrot stew is now in a bigger pan i will start adding in my spices and the first one is the blended spice i made 
some garlic powder and then give this a very good mix at this stage i will add in the cooked oxtail meat and then add in some curry powder i'm going to give it a very good mix for everything to blend in very well and then let me tell you the reason why my first two carrots you nobody enjoyed it the first one i used only carrots to make the stew the stew became very very thick and very very sweet if i say sweet i mean the stew was tasting like i added a lot of sugar to it and the second time i did not cook the carrots before adding it i mean using it to make my carrot stew so basically i think that's the reason why those two times my carrot stew did not come out perfect so our carrot stew is done and trust me this tasted super good everybody loved it and myself i loved it i hope to see you around next time for another great recipe until then always remember to do everything in love cheers